Greetings, people of Earth! From deep in the anal regions of space comes Lance Starbolt, hero of the universe! Operating out of a secret base hidden in plain sight on Earth's moon, Lance Starbolt works with Earth's heroes to keep the people of Earth safe from evil! Hello everyone, Trigon here, and welcome back to Champions Online. Yeah, I've been talking about doing Champions Online series for a while. I uh, did a couple episodes for a weekend special, and it worked out pretty well. Didn't really want to play Growler, though. I mean, we got Growler on, uh, on uh, um, Ark. We don't really need Growler here, too. So, we've got a new character. Lance Starbolt, Hero of the Galaxy! <laughs> So I know I talked about doing the uh, doing the whole thing in character, but uh, that just proved impossible to do. But anyways, before we get started, don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. So this is Lance's base. He's got a nice little moon base here. You see we can actually close the shutters if we want to. So there's the Earth up there. Goodbye, Earth. If you haven't played Champions Online before... It really looks like they'd intended to expand this more than they did. I mean, because there's like these doors that go to nowhere, and all of the hideouts have that. This is a hideout. I guess I should have said that first off. This is a hideout. There's several different hideouts you can choose from, and each each different hideout has several different decoration schemes you can choose from. But for Lance, definitely the moon base was the way to go. So this is Lance's moon base. This back here is Armory, which is actually a tailor station. And uh, it's just decorative here, but you can actually get in these. It's pretty cool. So time for Lance to sleep. Okay, time for Lance to wake up. And then we got our shield control here. You can see up there we've got a little uh, uh, solar system model. There's two different ones. There's a holographic one and that one. That one seemed more appropriate for Lance. Got your meeting table here. These sadly don't go anywhere. I wish they did. That's what I was saying. It seems like it, originally they'd intended to have expansions onto these, and they just never happened. I think the de the developer who was responsible for getting the hideouts into the game. Oh yeah, we're on the moon, so we have moonlight gravity. That's not my superpower. That's just it's just the fact that I'm on the moon. Um. But sadly, I think that developer is gone, so nothing has been done on it. This is the entrance. You can see it actually goes outside, and, well, we are a superhero, so we can operate out on the surface of the moon. Check it out. But Lance can fly. I originally had given him a jetpack. You probably have seen that in the opening sequence of uh, my recent games. Um, but I didn't like the way the jetpack worked, so I replaced it. <laughs> Just regular fly. All the other fly powers you can charge up and go to full speed right away. See, like that. See, now I'm at full speed. Yeah. The jetpack, you couldn't do that. I thought that was stupid. So. Alrighty. It is time, however, to head back to Millennium City. Back to Earth. The citizens of Earth need us. And we have some new contacts to go and talk to. Let's go check in with the chief. Line in, check out the chief of police, and this is the prison straight ahead. You can sort of see where some of the aspects from City of Heroes ended up in this game. I mean, there was the Zig in uh, City of Heroes, um, and only really, it seems like it seems to me I don't know, maybe things just changed, but it sort of seems to me that that this game has been improved quite a lot since the last time I played it. It is still Christmas season, so there are Christmas things going on here. We'll open this present, see what's in it. Ah, <laughs> something knocked us down. Uh-oh. 
Feel the might of Lance Starbolt! I get stocking. And a winter charm. Cool. You see, these these are a bit like the inspirations from City of Heroes, except instead of dropping into your inspiration tray, they just sort of float around, and you walk over them and pick them up. And then we got some escape prisoners over here. And show off Lance's powers. That's his chain lightning, which you can see he can charge up and do a lot of damage with it. And then... This is... What is this one called? I don't remember what it's called. Lance is pretty good at dealing out quite a lot of uh, damage. Sparkstorm, that's that's called. Sparkstorm is real nice. It attacks all locals uh, and does a fair amount of damage. And then there's the Chain Lightning, which is supposed to be able to jump from target to target, though I've not seen too much of that. Well, there it did quite a bit. I can charge it up, but I find a lot of times it's more effective just to just to spam it spam it spam it all you gotta do is spam it they get in close you can do this <laughs> he's got uh, all the electric powers well that's the where i'm going right to moment is the electric powers anyways excellent check out this present Get a winter present. I don't know what any of that does. I haven't messed around in this game much. Anyways, let's go get our mission. Okay, basics of the game here. Uh, you can see our power tray down here. Your shift key, your left shift at least. I don't know if the right shift does it. Yeah, right shift does it too. And I've actually got the shift lock uh, 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 as a as an alternate key because I am always hitting that by accident. But the shift is a block, and the block really reduces the damage you take. So when you see those icons above somebody's head, you use the shift block, and that'll help protect you. You use the, the shift block. You know what I mean. <laughs> Let's talk to the chief. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, no, thank goodness you're one of the good guys. Whatever. Okay, we finished the mission of coming to see him. So now, persecuting the prosecutor and fought the law. I'm worried... The Millennium City Judicial System is about to lose one of our most valuable allies. County Prosecutor George Kruger put most of the criminals in M City behind bars. And now that they're, they've escaped, they're looking for revenge. Kruger has been taken to the docks uh, in Maniac's territory. Uh, I guess that's the villain group. Near, the, uh, near an automobile bay. You better hurry because I'm sure the criminals he helped send to jail... We'll have some nasty payback plan. Not to worry, citizen. Uh, no, I'm I'm police chief. Uh, yes, of course. I just found out that a bunch of uh, uh, got a tip. A bunch of escapees from Millennium Jail are holed up in the construction site across the street from the jail, southeast of the jail entrance. Blah blah. Bro, bring them in. Okay. Let's go deal with the nearby uh, first. Let's go catch these guys. So yeah, you got, uh, I think it's by default, is T is your travel power. I don't like that, I haven't remapped, but... Um, you get actually, eventually, two travel powers. And one of the cool things I've only ever played with once uh, on Champions, because it, it never held my attention long enough before, uh, is you also get an arch enemy. Once you reach, like, I don't remember what it is, level 30 or something, you get to design your own arch enemy, and they'll, you know, do all sorts of missions against you and stuff. I only had it happen a couple of times. My arch enemy was a pain in the butt, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so, let's come down here and deal with these guys. Hello there, evildoers! Feel the wrath of Lance Starbolt! mighty aura of Lance Starbolt. None can withstand it. Wait, stop withstanding it. There we 
way up. Received a toy box. The little blue ones recover your energy. Green ones recover your health. Yellow ones beef up your defense. I love how it knocks them down, too. <laughs> so that guy had a little symbol above his head that meant he was doing a special attack. And Take it, take it. Oh, it's a toy box. That's one thing. Since Perfect World uh, 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 bought the company, took over the game. Uh oh. <laughs> and you thought you could get away with taking on Lance Starbolt. Little boosts don't last very long, but they are nice. So yeah, you know, unlike City of Heroes, you heal pretty, pretty quickly and you recover stamina pretty quickly between uh, uh, combats. Once you get out of combat, you'll recover both fairly quickly. You see this little yellow marker right here? That's my e equilibrium point. I can gain up to this much energy, which would have been stamina, I think, in City of Heroes. Um, but I will al always tend towards my equilibrium. So if I'm below it, I'll come up. If I'm above it, I'll go down. And here's my experience bar down here. You can see I'm level 10. Uh, and I'm almost two-thirds of the way to level 11. And, of course, this is your health up here. City of Heroes, you had, uh, and it really was a pain, you had to stop and rest to regain stamina between fights. And if your rest power wasn't up, there was nothing you could do. All you could do is stand. That was one of my biggest complaints, is you'd run out of stamina so fast, and then you'd be standing around forever waiting for your rest power to come up so you could actually regain your stamina. Uh, am I not... Okay, I need to get four more guys. So that I really like about this game. And you can mix power sets, which, you know, has good parts and bad parts. I mean, who's attacking me? I can't even see who it is. All right, let's fly up here. Oh, guys, inside the wall. That's always good. All right, whatever. You just do your thing here. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Turn in this mission. <laughs> Probably dragon guys over here. Are they following us? No, oh, they're just throwing junk at us. Okay. <clears throat> Well, this with the lock being the shift key is it's become sort of common in most games these days. Your shift key is your sprint, and now ooh, look at this guy. He's ice powers, and he's got like an ice skateboard. Isn't that cool? Okay, chief. Uh, any of these things any good for us? I really like the stuff I got better, but so that increases your intelligence. I don't care about that. This does a lot for my recovery, not so much for my constitution. I don't like the equipment aspect. It's okay. At least they don't overdo it in this game, whereas they do overdo it in in DCU. I think we're going to go with this one. Interesting. We'll come back to that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Let's equip our new helmet. Armaments cache. What did we get here? Ooh. That has some nice stuff, but... Do I really want to... That's a nice, that bracer's nice. Okay. So we're going to equip it. Level 10 supply kit. Oh, cool. Recovery 4 pack. 
level 15 supply kit. Healing patch. Excellent. I'm going to put that right here. I haven't touched on. This is various equipment uh, that you can use. You got five items you can have in your thing at once, and here's your different inventory slots. Um, as a veteran, I've got this extra bag here, and then this is your regular, your utility belt. <laughs> as you can see, it's a belt. Uh, I just want to see if any of these other things have anything good. Like a soldier belt. Hurts uh, a mission. Gang war. Doesn't do anything for us. This can go away. Oh, I started talking about the supply, the the, the boxes, the gear boxes. It just sucks. I mean, you've got a, you've got to actually, um, no, I don't want that. You've got to actually buy. I mean, with real world money, you've got to buy access to those boxes that drop. I'm gonna have to find a store at some point and sell this stuff. Are you a store? Can I sell stuff to you? Yep, he's a store. So, so let's see. Sell this. Can I double click to sell? Yes, I can. That. Sell that. That. Plant. Plant. Cool. I'm not sure what the stockings do. Oh, you you open it. Okay. Let's open the stocking. Candy cane, a consumable device. Oh, it's a big time heal. Heals for 878 points. That's like half our entire health. Wow. Well, let's put the candy cane. Come on, let's put the candy cane right here for that. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. Sorry about that. Let's go see about rescuing this guy from the dock side. No, not that. We want the prosecutor. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Lance Starbolt to the rescue! <laughs> I loved City of Heroes. It was just like my favorite game, and it just nothing has ever been able to replace it. I'm hoping it was a lot more fun playing this game, doing the videos. Uh, I don't know if it's just because just because I felt like I was doing more with other people. I had a hard time getting a decent group together here, but it wasn't just that either, even when I had a group together. There he is, right down there. We're just going to drop on their heads. Hello, people. You'll not have this valiant defender of justice. Whoa! definitely have some good powers. I mean, good isn't interesting. I think we need to... We need to protect him. Okay, I want this blue. There we go. There, that gives us full endurance now. No, we just... It's just an escort mission. We've got to escort him out of this area. Not to worry, citizen. Lance Starbolt is here to protect you. Well, what's going on over there? It looks interesting. <laughs> Best with the wrong boy. There is, uh, oh, another thing you get is that there's like, uh, 
ad uh, advantages or whatever. There's stuff you can add to each one of your powers to customize them. And each power has different things, and you can't take all of them because you have a limited number of points you can use on it. <laughs> but it looks like the Joker would enjoy this group. Whoa, face oh and back. I thought her face was in his butt for a minute there. <laughs> So yeah, um, the, uh, 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 um, what's it called? Chain Lightning. The Chain Lightning one, I've upped it uh, to its max. I've got as many points in it as I can put. Woohoo! All right, he's home. Now well, let's go check out this other one. Um, it, I think all of them have like a second and third level, which just increases, you know, whatever they do. Um, and then there's some customization ones, too, that can alter the way they behave somewhat, like the that spark storm that does the thing around us. That one, um, I can turn it into a toggle. One of the options is to turn it into a toggle, which I don't know, that could be pretty cool just to be able to toggle it on and have it just keep zapping everything around me while I'm able to use my regular attack doing something else instead of having to you know, concentrate on using that. So maybe when we level up we'll get another point and I can try it out. Now if you go to the uh, there's like a, a training place there's also crafting but I haven't gotten into that yet. I'm not even sure what level you start that. Um, there's a training place. If you go in there to train there's rooms where you can test out your powers and everything, and your powers aren't permanent until you leave. So you can go in there and test them out before uh, committing to the powers. Um, otherwise, if you leave, then they're fixed, and you have to, you know, get a respect token and all that good stuff. Well, hello there, Looney. Have a little of Lance Starbolt! Hello there, citizens! Or should I say, villains? Ha ha ha! Evil shall not prevail this day! Somebody got a hold of blueprints to the prison, and that's how they managed to all break out. So that's what we're looking for in here. And doubtless we won't find it in the first row. Anything over here? Don't see anything. I do love how you can run while you're charging up the travel power. There's also to travel powers too. Um, I think you saw if you watched my video with Growler, you saw that that we had like a bestial acrobatics power. You know, flight is always the favorite, but I love the acrobatics one. It is so much fun. But the one, my one complaint here is that the flight isn't very fast. It's sort of sadly slow. Buddy over here. The villains trying to sneak up behind Lance Starbolt. Ha ha! Caught you. Villains cannot stand the magnificent aura of Lance Starbolt. You guys are going to get real sick of me saying Lance Starbolt. Aha, there we go. Let's deal with these guys over here, though. No villain shall escape today. Ha ha ha. So yeah, your flight power, it builds up in speed. If you just tap it and take off, you'll go real slow. And if you're attacked, you'll you'll fly real slow. Which is sort of... City of Heroes had two different powers instead. One of them was effective in combat and one of them wasn't. 
Sadly, you can't do that in this one. Eek used to always love to use uh, the hover power in City of Heroes. Who's... Is there someone shooting me in the back? Who's shooting me? Ah, there you are. Crackpot. You certainly are, Crackpot. Shooting at Lance Starbolt. Oh, didn't quite charge all the way. <clears throat> but yeah, one thing I wish, uh, DCU has some great travel powers too. In fact, I'd say travel powers wise, although City, uh, the Champions has a lot of different ones. They're really interesting. Um, in some ways, the uh, ones that, uh, uh, DCUO has are even cooler. They just don't have the wide variety. This is the game, really. Even though even though it's not my favorite game, nowhere near as good as City of Heroes in my book, it is definitely the game for character customization. I don't know of any game better. I've heard that they're like, uh, I think, like Secret World or something like that, but Champions, at least as far as the look of your character, or really as far as everything about these characters, are so customizable. Woohoo! We leveled up! We'll finish this mission, too. And we'll pick up special report and the first rule. Okay. All right, but I think that's going to be it for our first episode. We uh, we got a nice little star here. I'm liking Lance. Lance Starbolt, hero of the galaxy. <laughs> oh, if you like Lance Starbolt, you want to see more of him, take that thumbs up button for me. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And we will definitely see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Lance Starbolt! <laughs>